guys, it is Aoife from Fred Reezy Died Laughing and I'm here with a book tag today. So I want to do the 2016 year in review tag um, by a booktube book. I thought this was just such a clever tag. It's it's just brilliant. You just have to see the questions to know but I just thought it was really really clever and I really really wanted to do it. Um, so here we are. I wasn't tagged but I wanted to do it. So the first question is Trump versus Clinton. What was your favourite character rivalry this year? And I have gone with the Faithful and the Fallen series and the um, rivalry between the Black Sun and the Bright Star. So basically this book, there is a prophecy that there's going to be someone who is the Black Sun, which is basically the devil who's called Asroth, kind of his human avatar on Earth. And then there is the kind of God avatar, the good light bringer avatar and um, that is the uh, bright star so there's this big kind of battle raging through these whole four books um, and over time we find out who the black sun is and who the bright star is and kind of it kind of goes from there but I really really enjoyed this because it was just this big long raging kind of battle throughout the whole four books and um, to this really 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 neat conclusion at the end of the last book um, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, number two is The Turkey Failed Coop, um, a book you started but failed to finish so you DNF'd it. Um, I actually don't really have any books uh, for this because I actually didn't DNF any books. Most books that I start to properly read I will continue on. There are a couple of kind of maybe really crappy neck alley books that weren't like really big publications or anything um, that I stopped reading. Um, I, I think that might be one or two and I can't remember which ones those were but for like proper like books that are kind of well known and are from bigger publishers um, I haven't DNF'd any of those. Number three is Pokemon Go. What book did you buy or read based on the hype and did you like it? Um, for me I'm going to go with The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adier and as you guys mostly know by now I really did not like that book um, but mostly I wanted to read that because I'd heard so many people rave about it um, and unfortunately it just wasn't for me. And four is Stranger Things. What What's one book you want everyone to read? And for this one I'm going to say Louise O'Neill I'm um, asking for it and it's literally just because I feel like this is a really really important book about rape and rape culture. Obviously if people are going to be triggered by sexual assault um, and rape and stuff like that um, they shouldn't read this uh, if they don't think they can handle it because it's very very tough to read but I feel for a broader understanding um, I think this is really great. Question 5 is Game of Thrones, The Walking Dead, Mr. Robot. What was your favourite book cliffhanger? Uh, within a series. And for me I have a couple. I have The Inquisition by Tara Matharu. Um, this, oh, the end of this book just killed me. I wanted the next one straight away and the next one isn't out until like May or June I think. Um, maybe earlier but I don't think it's out until the summer of this year and I just, I need that book because I want to know what happens. Um, and another book that left me literally like screaming was Rune uh, by John Gwynn and I did go on and read Wrath like I talked about in the first, um, the first question but that, oh my god, the end of that book was the toughest ending in a book ever. It literally made me sob. It made me sob. I could not deal with that ending of that book. Next is The Crisis in Aleppo. Um, name the last book that made you cry or teary-eyed. Um, and for me, um, I think the last book that really made me teary-eyed was Wrath by John Gwynn, um, which was the last book. And obviously there was a big battle at the end and some people didn't make it and it made me sad. So yeah, I did have a bit of a teary-eyed moment um, for that one. Uh, yeah, this is like a really original tag right now, guys. I'm literally just saying the same book for everything. Seven is Brexit. Name a book you have an unpopular opinion um, of. And for me, I'm going to go with Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. This is a very well-loved series and I just find it really boring and I don't like it. Um, I've read the first two. I will probably read the third one just because... I've pretty much finished the series. I just want, would like to read the last one just to see. Maybe it will improve for me. Maybe the conclusion will make the series as a whole better for me. Um, and my library app has it anyway, so I can get it on my phone um, at some point during the year. So yeah, but generally, I don't really like that series. Number eight is four new elements discovered in the periodic table. Name an author you discovered or read for the first time this year. Um, and for me, one of my favourite authors that I discovered this year has been Frederick Backman, of which of his two books I have here that I've read. Um, I have just really, really enjoyed Frederick Backman's writing. Um, I just think it's emotional and heartwarming and it makes me cry and laugh all at the same time and I love it. 
um, and I'm going to go on and buy and read every single thing that he re he writes because I love his writing. Number nine is hashtag all lives matter your favorite diverse read um, and one of the books I read this year that I really enjoyed that was diverse was um, Binti by Nnedi Okorafor. I just really enjoyed all the African culture um, and traditions that Nnedi Okorafor put in this one but Binti's family and the village that she comes from in Africa are based um, a lot of the things that they do are based on real African tribes and um, I just really enjoyed how Nnedi Okorafor brought that over into Binti and um, yeah I just really really loved it I just thought it was an excellent novella and I can't wait for the second one because that's coming out this year. 10 is the Zika virus a book that spread like wildfire um, and for this one I'm just going to go with one I've seen around a lot this year which I I can't remember if it came out this year or 2015 but it's Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo because um, The Crooked Kingdom came out at the very end of 2016 so everyone was either rereading or reading Six of Crows for the first time or the second time um, at the end of 2016 so I just feel like I've seen it everywhere and I've seen it on like everyone's favourites as well and um, so yeah. Number 11 is Leonardo DiCaprio finally winning an Oscar and um, what was your most anticipated book release this year? I didn't have too many anticipated book releases Um, I was really anticipating Wrath by John Gwynn, um, after, especially after I read Rue and I realised it was coming out at the end of this year so I had been looking forward to that for most of the latter half of the year um, and then I also pre-ordered um, The Crown by Kira Cass this year but then I ended up hating it um, and then The Unexpected Everything was one I also pre-ordered on my Kindle. Um, so I don't pre-order a whole load of books and obviously Harry Potter and the Cursed Child but I didn't really get excited for that until like the day it came out um, or the week a couple of days before it came out. I hadn't really been anticipating it up until then. Um, so I'm going to just say Wrath by John Gwynn um, for now. That's probably the most one that got... That's probably the one I got most excited for when I realised I was out this year. Um, but generally I'm just kind of like... I'm a bit more chilled with some, like, I don't know, with, with book releases. I don't get really, really, really excited. Um, and a lot of time I tend not to read them. Um, as soon as they come out I end up reading other things and leaving them for a while. So... Number 13 is Samson Phones, um, one book that blew your mind this year and for me I'm going to go with Not Forgetting the Whale by John Ironmonger which I top it in my favourites video but this one was just absolutely beautiful and raw and emotional and beautifully written and wonderful characters and a wonderful setting and a wonderful storyline and it just left me feeling wonderful so yeah I that was just a brilliant read and I just can't urge people more to read that book because it's so good. So I'm just going to tag a couple of people and um, I'm going to go tag Katie over Katie Loves to Read because I just have a feeling like she will really like this and I'm also going to tag Kirsten over at Super Space Chicks Club because I feel like that she will like this tag too. Um, so those are the two people that I'm going to tag but obviously if you want to do it as well then I tag you. Um, so yes, I will see you guys soon. Thank you guys for watching and until then, bye!